So I bought one of the cheapest diode lasers on Amazon, the Ortur Master 2 S2 for 150 bucks. We're gonna set it up, engrave a couple things, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts whether or not it's worth it. All right, like I said, I got this off of Amazon. Took just a few days to get here for 150 bucks. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. Now it looks good overall, you know, the, the packaging. I mean, this isn't what I would expect for 150 bucks. Um, let's see, looks like uh, package contents, color, nice. Then we got your manual, not too dinky of a manual. I mean, that's, that's pretty decent. And color pictures. Let's see, you also get, uh, looks like parameters uh, for different types of material. That'll be useful later. But yeah, I mean, the foam, everything's nicely packed in there. You got your rails, looks like power pack, board, controller, spiffy glasses. Man, all, all together, I mean, that's not bad at all. I mean, I was really expecting it just to be thrown in there and uh, having to sort it out. But let's get everything out and uh, let's let's put it together. Rails. Looks like uh, maybe some clean kit, zip ties, screws. Power pack. And looks like this is the laser assembly. Glasses. USB cord. Belts. Mm, not sure yet. We'll find out there. And your main assembly. One thing that is nice is the instruction manual being in full color. Uh, the instructions itself lack just a little bit. It could be a little more descriptive. But again, for 150 bucks, it's really hard to complain. Overall, I mean, it still works and I was still able to get it done. So just like that, within 30 minutes, I got it all set up. Cool thing is, like I mentioned, it has some decent instructions and they're all in color, which makes it really nice. So let's go ahead and engrave something and get it started. So I am using Lightburn. The cool thing is I was able to plug it up, go to devices and hit find my laser and it found it automatically. Real easy steps on that. So again, that's Mac. You may have to do a little bit more if you're running a PC. Okay, so I got the file loaded up in Lightburn. We're gonna frame it real quick, make sure everything looks good. All right, and let's hit start and let's get this thing going. You can, in my opinion, get some really good, good engraving on it. Um, the downside, the big downside is that it's gonna be incredibly slow compared to a CO2 laser. So um, I've got the OMTech 60 watt behind me and it can knock out some of these things in just a matter of you know a minute or so. Um, on this one for a, a patch that's about an inch and a half by two inches, give or take, um, it's telling me about five minutes. So quite a bit longer. Now you can mess with the settings and try to get it down, um, but you're also going to uh, you know, reduce the quality in my opinion. It's either going to be a lighter engraving or just not as uh, crisp. So um, that's the only downside. But I mean, you can see right now, you know, you can kind of tell how dark that engraving is getting uh, on it. So uh, I'm not going to make you wait the whole, you know, five minutes. So we're going to speed this up and I'll show you what the results look like here in just a second. And while you're watching this engrave, if you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button or the like button it really helps me out. Okay, and now we got that done. Let's take a look here. Nice clean lines. It's got a piece of, I uh, believe it's like a, like a three mil or five mil, it might be a five mil. And again, we're gonna adjust that screw. Set the head down. Actually, what I did forget, I forgot to use the little spacer here. All right, let's try that again. 
There we go. All right. And we're going to hit start. And again, I'm not going to make you go through this because it is, you know, a good five minutes to engrave it. But one thing that you want to do with this being exposed, uh, you definitely want to use the uh, provided um, goggles, you know, if you're going to be looking at it. Uh, the other thing is, depending on the type of material, you might want some type of uh, fume extractor or, you know, make sure you engrave in an open area. Um, just so that you're not having you know all the fumes it can get pretty smoky uh especially with wood so just be careful with that you know guys uh you know it is a real laser uh it does emit fumes so just want to be careful out there guys now on wood i mean that, that actually looks pretty good you know good engraving even on on the uh the score or the outline um but good detail i mean especially when you have a good svg file um that makes a world of difference too you know when you have a good file that you want to work with say but one thing that i want to show and let's take a look here is if you're getting into leather patches let's take a look and see what it's going to look like after we clean it off because honestly what's the purpose of having a good engrave uh, if it doesn't look good when you clean it not too bad again like I said the thinner lines are what's getting me uh, on that um, what I would do is you know of course do a little bit bigger of a patch the other thing is uh, I would increase the power quite a bit more and uh, maybe even run a little slow but for the first one on uh, some leatherette, not too bad. You know, the wood, wood came out really, really decent. Uh, I'm really not mad about that at all. I wish I had some slate, you know, to do a test on that. But, I mean, overall, it's it's hard to complain about, you know, a $150 laser. You know, you just have to pick the products that you know are going to work for the laser and that you can sell. So, you might not be able to do everything like a co2 laser but this one's really not bad so my overall thoughts on this laser for 150 bucks can you go wrong with it yeah you could because you can outgrow it uh it is slow but if you're thinking about a hobby or a small side hustle this could be perfect for you because you can do small stuff and still make some money it's just going to take a little bit longer but overall for 150 bucks it's really not that bad